everybody. Welcome, my name is Megan, if you're new here. I am uh, gonna take you along while we do a little weekend in the life. I've got a lot of baking I'm gonna be doing and a lot of new things I'm trying. So I like to try them with you and see how it turns out and then maybe you can give it a try too. I've been wanting to make chocolate sourdough bread, so that's gonna happen. We are having my dad and my sister Saya coming over tomorrow and we're having bread and cheese and fruit. Mm, oh my. So I'm gonna make my own baguettes for that. Oh yes. Pretty much when my dad and my sister come over, I like to test things out on them and see how it goes. So if it doesn't turn out so well, they'll tell me and you know, then we'll scrap it and try something else. Also, I told you in my last grocery haul that I wanted to try making my own butter just for the fun of it. I did make butter when I was very little, you know, like in a little jar and we pass it around at preschool. I remember doing it. And uh, I just think it would be fun to make some at home and see how it tastes and um, just to try something fun. So we might do a little shopping together. We might do a little baking together. You're here, I'm here. It's gonna be a great day. Um, what are we doing first? Let me tell you. Well, first things first, we've got our starter here. I need to feed it, but first I wanna bring it up to room temperature. It's been in the refrigerator and I'm gonna do that and then we'll add all the goodness. Whoa, I think I forgot that I was, um, you know, hanging out with this stuff. This starter is looking beautiful. These guys, not beautiful. I don't know what's their deal. I mean, they're bubbling, but they're not like this. That's what I'm looking for. More speckly. I'm gonna let them do their thing. Uh, they're looking good. Let's use this and make some chocolate sourdough bread and uh, some baguettes, huh? Let's do it. Two different ones. One's for a baguette, one's for the chocolate. Let's start with chocolate because it just sounds divine. Always measuring. Oh, it's my favorite thing to do, to be quite honest. 300 grams of water. Measure, measure. 150 grams of the bubbly. Whisk it, oh yeah, oh yeah. Okay, next up, we're gonna add flour, cocoa, sugar, vanilla. Teaspoon of vanilla. Okay, 50 grams of sugar. And then we're gonna add 500 grams of bread flour. All right, 50 grams of cocoa. What are you making? Oh, I'm making chocolate bread. I have no idea what a chocolate bread is. Your mouth is going to get to experience it tomorrow. And I'm just using this Hershey cocoa. All right, now, bom, 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 bom. we're going to mix it all together. Oh, yes, that smells so nice. We definitely want to make sure that it's all incorporated, uh, but it doesn't have to look like this beautiful dough. It can be kind of shaggy. I like me a shaggy dough. Smell it. What's it smelling? Chocolate, Ezra, chocolate. Okay, let's let this sit for 30 minutes, then we'll add the salt, a little more water, and we're not going to add the chocolate chips until later. So he's going to chill 30 minutes. Back at time. We're going 280 grams of water. Now it's 100 grams of nice, delicious starter. Come on now. Come on, hop in. The water is fine, my friend. Okay. 450 grams of flour in this guy. And then let's just give that a little mix. Whoa. Crazy. Towel over the top, 30 minutes, you come on back. Next step with our chocolate, look at that guy. We're just gonna dimple it up, give it cellulite, sprinkle over, this is 10 grams of salt, and we're gonna add in 50 grams of water, but just a little at a time. And we're gonna just give it the old, whoa, okay. Okay, oh man, it smells so good. The texture of this is really gonna change now that we do this. Gonna be a happy texture. Just a happy little dough, it's very squelchy. Oh yeah. And you gotta give it time for all that water to really soak up before you go adding any more. This is kind of where you uh, have to feel and look and use your senses and go, can this 
this dough take more water? And then we're gonna let this sit. Every 30 minutes, we're gonna do a, a nice stretch and fold. Stretch and folds are fun because you don't have to knead it a whole lot. You, you just pull, stretch to the middle, like so. But let's not do it now. Don't get ahead of yourself, Megan. Cover that baby back up and set her to the side. We're gonna do the same thing with the baguette dough. So, cellulite ladies, salt the cellulite, and then pour some water in and just give it some squishy wishy. Whenever we have family coming over or anybody coming over, one of the things that I love to do is gather up all the toys from the house and anything that is not in its place and put it in its place before I like, do you know general cleaning and all of that stuff. For me, it's like a way of setting the scene of comfort and relaxing for everybody that's gonna be there, plus putting everything where it goes. And I have 20 minutes until I have to do some more work with this dough. So I thought, why don't we get it done, okay? So you come with me and we'll do it. We can do it, come on. Oh, and by the way, grab a basket. That's the easiest way to like remove everything from the scene of the crime, if you know what I'm saying. left. Mm -hmm. Then we're going to do some stretch and folds. Your chocolate. Oh, looky there. Okay, stretch and fold. We're going to stretch and fold. See how nice and smooth that looks compared to that? That's what this is doing. Oh, it's just working on that elasticity, getting it happy. Oh, it's so smelly good. Yeah. I usually go around once or twice. This dough is a little different than my typical artisan sourdough. And if you haven't seen that video, pop over there. It is, let me tell you what, it is one of the best. One of the best. Okay, I'm gonna wash my hands. We're gonna let that sit for another 30 minutes and then we're gonna do this all over again. Okay, stretch it, stretch it, stretch it, stretch it. I'm a little concerned that this is a little too wet. Ugh. I hope it's okay. It is baguette time. I have a towel down with some dishcloths underneath wrap up because we're gonna make these baguettes, you know, and I'm gonna just make sure that this is nicely floured up so we don't have any dough sticking on there. Okay, now we're gonna do some shaping. Okay, so we're gonna stretch each piece like so. Just stretch them until they become a nice little rectangle. And kind of press it in with the fingers. Okay, and then we'll just give it a little pinch because he's so cute. And then we'll just start with both hands in the middle of the dough, and you're gonna go outward. So I'm just gonna dust these with some flour, and then I'm gonna stick them in the refrigerator covered up with some plastic wrap overnight. Night has fallen, folks. It's dark out there. And I'm gonna add the chocolate chips to our chocolate sourdough bread, because it's time. It does not rise like a typical sourdough, but when you press on it, it leaves a little indentation, but it does pop back up and it kind of pulls away from the sides. So that's a good indication that it is ready to go. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna add the chocolate chips here in this little pre-shape. Oh man, it's such a different kind of dough than the typical artisan sourdough. Okay, I'm just gonna do a little folding and a little um, of this guy. And then I just let this sit for 20 minutes. And then we'll shape it again, put it in the banneton, let it sit a little longer, 
stick it in the fridge. Easy as pie. I'm using my Banneton. I have this in my Amazon storefront if you're interested. I really love using it. You can also use it without the cloth on it and it'll give you some nice lines uh, when you take it out. But I'm just gonna, um, but I'm just gonna flower this guy up. Okay, we're gonna let this little guy sit in here. And uh, he's gonna hang out for about 15 minutes or so and then I'm gonna button him up and then we'll let him sit for another hour and I'll throw him in the fridge. All right, this guy has been hanging out. I buttoned him up, crisscrossed him. Everything's in, tucked in. I'm gonna put him in his little baggie for the night, his sleeping bag. Stick him in the fridge and then we'll cook him up tomorrow. Good morning. It is a little tiny grocery haul that we're gonna do. There's gonna be cheese involved, fruit. I got a couple other things that I've got to get just kind of to get us through the week. So I thought I'd bring you along. Let's start out with Sam's Club. I have my little cooler back here with some ice packs in it. So everything's gonna stay nice and cold. We'll grab what we need at Sam's Club and then we'll pop over to Aldi, I think. Are we going to Aldi? I don't know. Yeah, we might go to Aldi and then Meyer too. You ready? Let's go. Holy Masa Choli, if you do not have a KitchenAid mixer and you've been wanting one, they are a hundred bucks off, $279.98. That's a really fantastic price. That blue is really pretty. So is the teal down at the bottom. Marcus is working on a project and needs this four foot table. It's $40, folds in half. Good thing to have around, right? I'm taking it. Wood burning, how many of you do that? I haven't seen this here before. I'm assuming it goes with all the different like school and art things. We are doing something called Charlotte Mason for homeschooling and they talk a lot about handiwork. And I just saw some people talking about doing wood burning. I think the kids would actually really enjoy that. I need to look into that. I'm not gonna get it today, but very interesting. I like that they've got these other things too. Sewing machine here, okay. All right, all right, okay. Tonight's excitement is gonna include some homemade lemonade. I just bought this at my once a month grocery haul and we made the lemonade and the kids loved it and now they're asking for more. So tonight's a great night for it. It is 428 for the pack. We're doing cheese tonight, folks. First thing is we're gonna get some brie and let's see, 728 for this guy. Oh man, how many cheese lovers are there? Then uh, we'll get some Jarlsberg and it's 624 a pound. So it's a little on the pricey side, but hey, that's a great size right there. 10.73. Strawberries for the win, uh, 4.98 for a pound of them. Let's get one that doesn't have a bunch of white. We can do better. Okay, I'll take it. I heard super good things about these candy snaps, grapes, candy snaps, yeah. And uh, they are 5.98 for this big old guy. They're little, like I like it. How many of you have had these and what are your thoughts? I told you in my once a month grocery haul that I wanted to try making butter just for the fun of it. Why not? I know I made it in preschool in a little jar and now it's time to take it to the next level. So this is $4.76 for some heavy uh, whipping cream and let's see what we can make out of it. Shopping complete. Uh, grand total, that was including the little table, was $81.80 nine i think it worked out weird thing so they didn't have any samples out yet but they have one of those machines where you scan your card and then you can get a sample so i was really excited because they had the mountain mix the trail mix you know but it has the m&ms in it which i think all trail mix ever for all creation should have chocolate in it so i was really excited and i was like yes and so i scanned my phone to do the card thing and it told me I had to give them my email too and I'm like now you're just tricking me so I don't have a snack whatever let's move on I need to get some uh, other things at Meyer. I'm still trying to decide if I'm going to stop at Aldi because I just need one thing from there but I could get it at Meyer. <sighs> we'll see It'll be an adventure, let's go. Oh, so glad I waited for bananas here at Meyer. They were a lot more expensive at Sam's Club. I'm just gonna grab a couple bushels for 37 cents a pound. 
Maybe just one. Yeah, just one. Lots of yummy bread today. It hasn't been this full in a little while. $1.79. I'm going to grab two of the split top white. I need a little tiny thing of ham for something, so I'm going to go ahead and grab that. It's $11.76 for this guy. It is our lucky day. $2.99 for ice cream. Cookies and cream. Uh, I think I'll do some moose tracks. They don't seem to have mint chocolate chip at the moment, which the kids would really prefer. And what Zion calls rainbow ice cream, which is probably more this, but she likes to call this rainbow ice cream, Neapolitan. And lactate chocolate that I'll get for 19. I do need another package of bread flour, 409. Oh, and I didn't show you. Last time I forgot to get Pam and it's 349 today on sale. We don't use it a whole lot, but I like to have it around. It's a good day. Look at this, guys. They finally have the Meyer one of the lactose-free milk, 3.39. I'm grabbing three of them. Guys, my hands have been getting sore because I've been washing my hands so much in between making food all the time. And I'm just going to try this out. I haven't done it before using these little disposable gloves. They are safe for food handling. So I'm going to do it. And I think this is the 12 count. 279 gonna give it a whirl. $1.99 for the touch of butter popcorn, two of them. Somebody needed a treat, not me, but somebody. And I might eat some too. Pringles barbecue, $1.89. You guys have been telling me that Johanna can have these little lactate type things if she wants to have something with dairy in it. I found what I want. It's this little guy, it's chewable. And um, she doesn't necessarily have these issues, but she has really bad stomach pain when she has dairy. I'm gonna give it a whirl if she's up for it, but I'm I'm a little bit nervous. 919. <laughs> Let's hope it works. Meyer is complete. The total there was 6553. And uh, a quick estimate, add that to the 80 something. So we're somewhere in the range of like 150 total. I gotta get home, put everything away. It is very humid today. Let's see what the temperature is. The humidity is, I, I walked outside and my sunglasses immediately fogged up. I couldn't even wear them, um, but it's only 82 degrees outside, but the humidity is like a million. I like to think it keeps my skin fresher. I don't know if it's true, but whatever I need to tell myself to make it through the day, that's what I do. Uh, let's go home. I think I'm gonna put the chocolate sourdough in the oven. And then in a couple hours, more like four-ish hours, I'll put in the baguettes and we'll get the shindig started. About to get real, people. I just have some heavy cream. I've got my KitchenAid. I am two cups in there. And we're just gonna try to get it up as high as we can. Give it a minute so we don't have a bunch of splashing. Whoa, look at that, Zion. Butter. It's getting really exciting. It's on the highest it can go. It is looking very whippy right now, more like a whipped cream. You think it's gonna make butter? No. No. Good, me too. Woo, it's getting crazy, guys. Stuff is happening. Wow, that was exciting. So there's all the buttermilk down at the bottom. Now we're gonna do some squeezing, some rinsing. I guess it can cause it to go rancid if you don't do this rinsing stage. So I'm gonna just rinse it and squeeze it and get friendly with it, I guess. And I guess I'm gonna use this bowl. This is cold water. This is definitely not a cost-effective way of saving money, like by making your own butter. So for sure this is just like a fun thing that I'm happy that I get to try and do. And water is looking nice it's and clear. Whoa, Very look at that. Look at that butter. I know, look at that, I made that. That looks like a bath. It bath. does. It looks like a bath bomb. I think you're right. Well, it's trying. It is definitely trying come out. This is my butter, folks. I'm going to put that in something. I think I did it. I did it. I made butter. You guys should try this just for the fun of it, right? Oh, uh, look at this guy. Oven is preheated to 485. I've got the Dutch oven in there. It's been in there 
for about an hour or so heating up. And then I'm just gonna do some slicing and splicing. It's a little tricky with the uh, chocolate chips. I'm gonna stick it in the oven 20 minutes and then we'll take the lid off of the Dutch oven and we'll let it cook up for about 15 more minutes and it should be done. I'm interested to know if this chocolate bread's gonna have an oven spring look to it or how it's gonna look. It's a surprise to us all. <gasps> well, it's beautiful. I'm just gonna take the bake down to 450 and then leave it for another 15. Look at this beauty. When it cools down, dust it with a little bit of powdered sugar if that's the desired thing but man it's beautiful love it i can't wait to give it a try baguette time and i can't say that i'm like overly um confident these look very teeny skinny tiny to me so i was gonna wait a little longer before i put them in the oven just a little closer to the time but if they don't turn out i want to be able to run to the store and grab um, a couple loaves of baguette. I'm really hoping, this is supposed to sit out for an hour, so I'm hoping it'll kind of do its thing. I don't know, it's scary, but you know what? You gotta try new things. That's the only way you're gonna figure it out. I am also making some lemonade. You wanna know how to make it? Super easy. First, we're gonna make some simple syrup. Sugar, water, boil, dissolve, cool, lemons. We're gonna bring to boil one and three quarters a cup of sugar and a cup of water. Mix it all together. These Danish whisks are awesome because they get in the sides. If you've ever had any problems with that, like when you're making sauce or anything like that, they're fantastic, by the way. All right, let's bring this to a boil and then we'll set it to the side and let it uh, kind of cool down while we put the rest of our lemonade together. Nine lemons or about one and a half cups of juice. Okay, now we need seven cups of water. Icy cold water would be preferable, but I'm gonna throw this in the fridge, so I think we'll be a-okay. I had a couple seeds in this, so I'm just gonna strain it out a little bit. Oh, there was a lot more than a couple. <laughs> there was a lot. And then we're gonna add our simple syrup. It got all nicely dissolved. And we're gonna There's a pan of water down at the bottom. I have a sheet pan here that I'm gonna be using, but I'm gonna heat it up. So, cold oven, heating it up uh, to 480. And then in about 30 minutes or so after this has had some time to do its thing, we're gonna put those beautiful baguettes on there and cook them up. This is a super hot pan. It's been in the oven preheating with everything. The water is bubbling, that pan of water. So I've been told, put some flour down. I'm not confident in this at all, you guys. I'm pretty sure I'm gonna to have to run to the store before everybody gets here. Oh dear. Yeah, this is not, this is, nope. <laughs> oh, can everybody say fail? Wow. Um, I'm gonna stick it in the oven, guys. 20 to 25 minutes. Um, well, here's the finished product, folks. Oh my word. Weird looking to no end. Nope, that's a total fail. So I did go to Sam's Club just now, just got back. And I grabbed some French bread. This isn't a baguette, it's just the French bread, which is good, I'll warm it up. And I also, I stopped by Harvest Market first, but they did not have any French baguettes left. So I got some salami. That'll go with our yumminess. Here it is, folks. Yum, yum, yum. A little salami, a little cheddar, and some homemade lemonade and water. Okay, we've eaten all sorts of things over here, and we're trying the chocolate chip bread. And very good. 
Yes. Okay, they compared it to like Teddy Grahams mm -hmm. or chocolate graham uh, crackers. Mm -hmm. I think it's good. Like it's a bagel. De yeah, kind of like a bagel. It's really mm -hmm. sweet. I think the texture is good. I was expecting something a lot more dense. So yeah. I'm kind of surprised that it came out the way it did. Okay. Let's see if we can see the crumb. It's kind of a tighter crumb, but not terrible. It's still got some good holes in it. So mm -hmm. cheese was good. The butter was good. Israel told me that was better than the store one. So I don't know if it had as much flavor to it as I was. Expecting. I think so. You thought so. Okay. Cost effective? No, uh, 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 not at all. Cheese. Very, very good. Joey had uh, one of those lactate pills. So we'll see how she does. She had a little bit of cheese. The salami. Eh. I'm not used to that kind. It just right. tasted like flowers to me, which I don't think meat should taste like flowers. And the lemonade, they say the kids said it was good, so it got all gobbled up. Oh, and the candy snap grapes. Those were good. They're a little on the sweeter, and yeah, they're little. Definitely sweeter. Yeah. So all in all, very tasty. Thanks for hanging out with us, guys. Hope you have an amazing day. Talk to you soon. Bye-bye.